Right, this is Terry and we're continuing on with object linking and embedding and um, what we're going to do is link an Excel spreadsheet into a Word document and you'll see why. So what I did was a little work in the background and I found a nice table um, of, uh, well not nice because it's of uh, casualties, but a laid out, well laid out table. And so I'm going to highlight and I'm going to hit control C to copy or I could right click and hit copy. And then I'm going to go into Excel and I'm going to uh, do uh, paste. I'm going to paste that information in. And I looked at this table a little bit before, so I want to uh, have everything all on one line with a number here. Uh, so I want each one of these, the longest one, to all fit inside my first column. And then I'm going to highlight my columns here, or excuse me, highlight my rows and I'm going to say that I want the row height to be um, 25. And when I do, then I can take my information here, I'll center it, and I'll uh, double click between the A and the B uh, because that does a uh, auto size. It'll take the longest, uh, which happens to be line 18, and it resizes the column to match. All right, so now I'm going to highlight my formatted information. I'm going to hit Control C again. I'm going to go back into my Word document where I want to put this information in, and I'm going to hit Paste Special. And when I do, then I can tell it that this is an Excel uh, worksheet. It's an object in an Excel worksheet. But this time I'm going to say Paste the Link. And you'll see why in just a minute. So when I pop that in there, I can resize this a bit to make it a little bit smaller. Um, you know, if the column's highlighted, I can center it. And the issue becomes what happens if I need to change this information? So I'm going to go back here, and instead of having 4 million here, I'm going to say, well, the real answer was 6 million. I'd made a mistake in, in my calculations. So when I make the change here, then I go back to go back to my table and you'll notice that the six million has been updated. If I go the age of the oldest man killed in Vietnam War is uh, was really 65 then when I go back it's changed here. So these files are linked. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you save both files to the uh, to wherever your location is then do the object linking and embedding and uh, because it's uh, linked to where the file is located. So if you move the Excel file, it's not going to be able to do this. It won't be able to do the linking and embedding. Uh, this is a great way. I, I teach this in my classes. If you're doing end of the month reports, you put everything into a spreadsheet, paste it into a Word document, you set up uh, generic you know here's the numbers from this the current month figure and then you pop that in and by simply opening the word document it will go get the most current version of the that Excel um, table all right so uh, just a quick little lesson on object linking embedding uh, you can then manipulate the data it's much easier in Excel to filter it, do whatever you want to do, and then when you paste it and paste the link, it will be updated. All right, hope that all makes sense, and let's move on to the next one.